with Rain head coach John Robleski. Coach, uh, you knew it was going to be a battle with these guys. They've had a, had a great record for a reason. Uh, How would you feel it went for your team here? Yeah, it was uh, an interesting one. I was just uh, just contemplating a couple thoughts before we got here, and I was I would have said if you drew up the box score with like the penalties, I would have said that that was going to be our game. And unfortunately, tonight we couldn't couldn't capture those key moments on the special teams, uh, and we surrendered a faceoff goal against. Other than that, I couldn't have been you know happier or prouder of the way the guys played because it, it felt like an NHL game at ice level. It was really an impressive. I got a lot of time for the way Stockton plays, and it's only gonna, you know, uh, you know, steel heart and steel, and it's gonna be an interesting, uh, interesting series going forward. And I think that we'll grow as a result of this. So, yeah. Two kind of uh, your special teams units on opposite ends of the spectrum. At one end, really good on the power play. At the other end, it's the goals that kind of keep going in on the penalty kill. But tonight, it seemed like it was one of those nights where. Guys were in the right positions the whole game, but maybe the bounces weren't going your way on the penalty kill? Well, it was also disappointing on the their third goal. Uh, they were off sides, and, and it resulted... Uh, second second goal, sorry. Uh, second goal was they were... It was an inappropriate wave off of an icing call, and then uh, they were off sides prior to the goal. Those are those are important. I, we're a big believer on in our club that, like, you... Stick lengths are important. Inches are really important. And when, you know, those things don't go your way, it's probably going to work against your favor. Not that we're using that as an excuse, but it's unfortunately a reality, you know, and that was a difference maker possibly in the game. So um, could we have made those spots up? We'll, we'll check the tape. Uh, do we have to address our, our penalty killing issues? Yes, but... I'm not, I'm not a big believer in the overhaul, like a complete overhaul or anything like that. We just need to chisel away at making guys a little bit more aware. But, you know, you go back to our, our power play. We're, we're a more offensive team by design. You know, that's where we are. So, uh, you know, our penalty kill, we, we may not be as gritty as we need to be. So we need to kind of find our, our balance and our middle on probably on both um, Situations you can't be at the top of one special team and the bottom of the other. We got to we got to find a little bit more balance, a little more peace with that. But we're not a soft team either. It's not like guys play. We're first on pucks all over the ice today. So we'll just um, we'll just keep chiseling away at it, and uh, you know it, it it stinks to lose, but you know what? Like you can learn from it too. Sean Dersey gets an opportunity in the NHL. And Jordan Spence and Helga Granz seem like they benefited from that. We saw a lot of them on the ice tonight. What did you, what did you see from those young guys? Well, it's another another opportunity to use the word balance. You know, like where somebody gets their opportunity, another guy uh, also gets their you know sort of uh, balanced opportunity. Where you know the, the guys, young guys in the American League have their chance to shine, and um, a lot of guys get overwhelmed with the responsibility of then running the power play like Helgi did. And then they, their five on five game suffers, or somewhere else in their game suffers. But he was, he was sharp uh, in all areas tonight. And uh, I'm not sure if his power playing was perfect, but he scored a goal on it, and he w he took care of the team. So yeah, great great on him, and I'm glad for those guys to get their experience, and hopefully Durs gets his shot up there. We noticed a lot of physicality in the, in the first, especially. Yeah. It seemed like you guys set the tone. Obviously, the end result wasn't what you wanted, but it seemed like that was the way you guys wanted to play, especially in the first. Yeah, we got. I, th I thought we had a better maybe grasp of the tempo than maybe any other game against uh, one of these momentum forechecking style teams than we've had in the past. I thought that our tempo was really good, and, it, and you know, like it, as I mentioned before, we just didn't we didn't grab the tone of the game with the. With the special teams, we we pipe one on that uh, that power play late in the first, and it's a it's a different scope, it's a different game. So the tone uh, the tone of the game will always get set by the uh, the special teams. Got a chance to uh, insert a few new players or a few returning players back into the lineup tonight. Strand back, but most specifically, you get Tynan and Velarde on that top line. Yeah. What do you think of the makeup of the, uh, the the forward line today, specifically the top one? Well, I wish we had a little bit more time to dissect it, but that second period was a mess with uh, with with power plays and stuff like that. And then the third period, there was hardly any whistles. I did like our momentum. I felt like I was turning my my head though towards our attacking net almost the entire period. So I thought that uh, 
I thought the guys really, you know, I thought they played a, a really solid team game, you know, and that, that's just how it's going to go some games. You're, you're going against a really good team, you know, take your hats off to, to Stockton, and uh, I, I don't see us shaking too many things up with just because we lost on the scoreboard. I thought we, I actually thought we did some things tonight that we hadn't done in the past. We were, we were, re guys were ready to play uh, a, a momentum style game where we didn't try to, you know, use our skill when it wasn't there. We played behind, and I thought our four checking was efficient. And I'm, I'm hoping we can re revisit that because it'll be really important for these guys, not only as a team but for their futures. You know, going forward, like as players and them advancing levels, they need to realize that that's the way to play.